this is time for you to get your pens ready, pull nearer, because we will be looking at example 3 on page 14. It is on the screen in front of you. I'll read while some of you are still busy getting to page 14. Draw the graphs of f of x equals 2 cos x and g of x equals sine x plus 30 degrees on the same set of axes where x is an element from minus 180 degrees to plus 180 degrees. I'm not even going to look at the question at this stage. Let's just look closer at the equation, the given equations. Cos 2x. I'm sure you know what this 2 means. Does it affect the amplitude or the period? I can just hear people shouting, definitely not the amplitude, because the amplitude is in front. It is linked to the x, it's the partner of x, therefore we should have two cycles over one 360 degrees, therefore affecting the period. So let's work it out. So at this stage, let's calculate our period. We said our period must be equal to 360 degrees divided by 2, which gives me 180 degrees. Okay, so let's think quickly together. Let's plan this graph quickly. I'm drawing, this is my thinking work. It's not my final drawing yet. My basic sign graph, and I'm going to put my basic sign graph in a red. I'm sorry, my basic cos graph. My basic cos graph looks like that. And I know from my information that we just went through that this should end at 360 degrees. We also said that everything else happens exactly midway. So this should happen here at 180 degrees. This should happen at 90 degrees. And this should happen at 270 degrees. That's my basic graph. But... My graph need to have a period of 180 degrees. In other words, my shape will look exactly the same. But this time around, that's one cycle. This time around, it's going to end at 180. This minimum mark must be exactly midway. So therefore, this must be at 90. Exactly midway means that this one will happen at 45 degrees and this one will happen, for those that don't know, 90 plus 45 gives me 135 degrees. The amplitude, huh, I know, I know, you don't have to tell me it is 1. Can you see how easy it is to get from the basic graph to change it into this? I could also have done this and said, ah, it's not that, and I could have written my 180 there, and I could have made that 90. The choice, the method you use is not important, but the idea is that I used my basic graph in order to derive at this new graph y equals cos 2x. So I use this graph to get me into this one. Right, at this stage, I want you to draw your axes, and I am going to draw my graph y equals cos 2x on decent paper. So draw your axes with a positive and a negative component, and then I want you to draw in the graph y equals cos 2x. All yours. Only one minute to draw that graph in for me.
I'm done. I hope you're also done with it. Please note, because it's a wave, it will just continue on the negative side as well. So I did not show you the negative side while I was doing my thinking part, because if I can draw the positive, draw the positive side, the negative part just flows in automatically. My graph is in. So let's look at, on back on the screen, let's have a look at our second graph. By the way, don't forget, please mark that graph F, otherwise we might just get confused with the two graphs. Right, G of X equals the graph sine X plus 30. Sine X plus 30. So I'm going to go through the thinking part once again. I want G of x equals sine x plus 30. That is what I want. Right. It is linked to x, so therefore we expect this graph to shift. Very important that you identify that. Which way? Left or right? It is plus 30, so I expect this thing to shift to the left. Okay, so here we go. Once again, I'm starting with a basic sign graph. That is 360. We know where this is, 180. And that's my zero. My graph needs to shift 30 degrees to the left. So strictly speaking, it will look exactly the same, but it should start there now. It must go up, down, and up again. But this point here will be minus 30, minus 30. So it will start here at minus 30. And everything else will be minus 30 degrees. Where do we expect this to happen? 180 minus 30, which will give me 150 degrees. Where do we think this point will happen? At 360 minus 30, which is 330. And I need to pull that a little bit up. Up till there. To get me back to 360 degrees. I realize while I... Okay. So now we can go back to our graph. I've made one big mistake on my previous one. I've marked it wrongly. This was one period, so that I had to mark 180, 90. I am so sorry about this. Minus 90 and minus 180. There we go. So let's draw in our next graph. We said we are going to start here. Maximum will be at 60 now. And I would come down till there, minus 150, and a little bit down, and the same would happen on that side. There we go. Please put in your second graph as well. And this happens to be the graph of G. The last part of the questions that we need to answer, show all intersects with the axes, turning points, and where f of x equals g of x. The intercept with the axes. These are those points. I'm sure you can write down where each one of those points are. Right? With the with the axes, there's an intercept and there's one as well. 
We need all the turning points. That one, that one, this one, this one. That one we're not going to mark because it ends there. Where the two graphs are equal to each other, it is those places where the two graphs cut each other. Now, at this point, they did not ask us to, sh to write down the coordinates of these points. But if that was the question, remember that coordinates are written with an X value with a corresponding Y value. So, for example, the coordinate of this point would have been 90 degrees and my Y value would have been minus 1. But they did not ask us that in this particular question. I know my sketch doesn't look all that good, so let me show you what it looks in a better shape so that you can check your answer with what I have on the board. Okay, you can see while I've got the decent looking graph on the board, there's my minus, my graph shifted my, from the basic graph to minus 30, and if I must add the original graph very quickly, can you see the shift? Minus 30 degrees to the left. Each of those points moved minus 30 degrees to the left. Okay. Right, people, our first example is done.